This is really getting perfectly absurd. Um, we, we can't, the presidents just can't manage somehow to uh, stop the war. It's, what difference does it make what government prevails in Cambodia, whether it's Prince Sihanouk supported by the Chinese or Lan Ma supported by the Russians in the United States? And, in no case is the vital security interest of the United States at stake here, and yet only the United States continues as an active participant in the war. None of these other countries have involved themselves in the war out in Cambodia. The American people are against the war out there. They, they want to stop put to this. Pretty soon we'll have another group of prisoners of war on our hands to try and negotiate their release once more. Um, it's almost become compulsive somehow for presidents to keep fighting out there. Represents, in our opinion, the consensus of the Senate, and I would gather from recent actions that the House may very well be willing to accept it too, and we have real hope that it will become law. What assurance do you have, if any, that the White House will pay any attention to it? Well, this isn't a, a sense of the Senate uh, uh, proposal. This, this is not just an expression of... Uh, of uh, an opinion by the by the Senate. If this becomes law, the White House will have to pay attention to it because uh, uh, not to do so will result in a violation of law for which uh, uh, all kinds of consequences can occur. But I don't see any reason to anticipate that if it becomes law, the White House will not obey it. 